In this video, we'll learn the definition of vector-based images. This is important to know because vector images are one of the main ways of working with graphics on the computer. However, they're quite different from pixel-based images. Pixel-based images are images made from grids of colored squares. They're also called bitmap or raster images. These kinds of digital images are resolution dependent. And among other things, that means enlarging or upscaling them can sometimes cause distortion since there's a finite amount of pixel information in each image. Photoshop works mainly with pixel-based images. Vector-based images, on the other hand, are images made from mathematically defined shapes, also called paths, curves, or vectors. These types of images are resolution independent since they're not defined by pixels. That means, among other things, we can scale them up or down as much as we want with no distortion. Illustrator works mainly with vector-based images, and that's what we'll be working with for the next four weeks of this unit. Let's do a visual comparison of pixel-based and vector-based images. On the left, I've got tigerpixel.jpg, a pixel-based image, open in Photoshop. And on the right, I've got tigervector.ai, a vector-based image open in Illustrator. Both these images look identical at first glance, but they're defined differently. And one place we can see those differences is by zooming in. In Photoshop, the more I zoom in, the more I see that pixel grid. In Illustrator though, no matter how much I zoom in, the image looks just as crisp and sharp as it does at full scale. That's because my vector image is not defined with pixels, but with mathematical formulas that make up its lines. The paths we use to draw vector art can be straight, curvy, or angled. And we can group them together to make literally any shape. A square, a triangle, text, a squiggle, a tiger, anything you can imagine. The vectors themselves are just lines, and the way that they look on screen depends on visual styles that we assign to them. For example, I might take a vector path and assign a width, a color, an opacity, and many other properties that control how it looks. The two most basic visual styles of vector art are the stroke and the fill. The stroke is the visual style of the vector line itself, how wide it is, and what color, for example. The fill is the visual style of the area enclosed by a vector. You can see here on the right at the top, I've got just the plain vectors themselves with no visual styles applied. And then below, two different sets of visual styles. One of the main advantages of working with vector art in Illustrator is that the structure of the images themselves is always separate from the visual presentation. This makes it really easy to shift visual styles and quickly change the way your artwork looks. Some common vector file types that you may work with include the .ai, and that is the Illustrator equivalent of the PSD file, as well as an EPS, SVG, DRW, and DXF. In this unit, we'll mainly be working with the .ai Illustrator file. So we know a little bit about the basics of what vector art is. Let's talk about how it's used. One of the main uses for vector art is producing graphical imagery for print or screen. That includes logos, icons, and package designs, maps, charts, and infographics, posters and illustrations, user interfaces, clothing designs, as well as animation and motion graphics. The other main area for using vector art is within computer-aided design. Essentially, that means using digital designs to make physical objects. For example, a laser cutter is very commonly controlled with an Illustrator file. Other similar processes can be controlled with vector art, including CNC routing, plasma cutting, water jet cutting, and other similar robotically controlled cutting processes. 
And lastly, many forms of 3D modeling are based on vector art. So this can open the doorway to things like 3D printing and fabricating physical objects from vector art designs. Okay, that's an overview of the definition of vector art.